It should be noted that I'm wearing socks with pugs on them. Just in case you didn't already realise that I'm no kind of professional. Hello people. I'm making a video again. Are you shook? Are you shocked? Will you be able to hear me? That's the real question. It is September 30th. Tomorrow Inktober begins, at least in Australia. Everyone in America is still just like, chill. It's like, oh, it's September 28th or 29th or whatever it is. And they're like, oh, we've got two whole days. But no, not for me. I'm an Australian and I am cursed. See, it is nighttime, September 30th. Some ungodly hour, like 6 p.m. Wait, is it 6 p.m.? I don't know. It's 7 p.m. And I still don't have a sketchbook for Inktober. And that's kind of a problem because let's be honest, it's just way easier to do Inktober when you have a sketchbook dedicated to it. So uh, that's what we're gonna make today. I just watched a whole bunch of sea lemon videos and I learned nothing because I have the attention span of a goldfish. Her videos are really addictive though, like very aesthetically pleasing. And yes, I'm wearing black jeans because I am, <laughs> I am artist. I am somber. So, oh yeah. Earlier today I got like a two dollar notebook sketchbook thing because I figured I'll use this for Inktober but I hate the paper inside. I figured like oh yeah no it'll be computer paper right? No. No it's meant to be like fancy paper but it just sucks the sucks the ink out of my pens and I hate that so I don't know it was only two bucks so it's fine but I figured I'm going to probably have to make a sketchbook which I have done before to some success. Tell you what I'm gonna go and grab my supplies and uh, we're gonna do a Jenna Marbles style, you know, giving myself a perm slash playing with acrylic nails slash playing with a bath of paraffin wax kind of video where I've researched it, but I'm just gonna sort of do what I can. Cause I've been binging Jenna Marbles. I really like her. I think she's really funny, but yeah. So I, I don't know. I haven't really felt inspired to make many videos. And I figured this is an art video, but it's also kind of like just the kind of video I want to make. And no, I'm not very funny, but uh, I don't know. Maybe someone will learn from my mistakes. So, okay, let's just start making the video. I'll go get some paper. I feel that this is a decent amount of paper. I don't actually know. I basically just grabbed some scrap paper that I hoard because I figure you know I'll use it someday and look at this I'm using it I hope this is um probably what I'm gonna primarily use it's like a it's it's like pen to paper but it's a bit thicker got some nice bend to it these are some notebooks that I really like the size of and I figure I'm gonna have to fix the autofocus on this one there we go I figure if I make the books these sizes I'll um want to work in them a bit more, oh, but these are good sizes I feel, so I think this is like an A6 size, oh no wait, this is actually, they're a bit bigger than A6 aren't they, oh wait, is A6 like that, A6 is like that, <sighs> I'm an idiot, this is some more, this is some black papers, this one is shiny, this one is not, figure for Inktober, black covers are a good idea, I've got some coloured paper but I'm not sure that I'm going to use that, you know what? I've already been filming for eight minutes. This is how much I blabber on. How about I try and actually create something? I know, right? What a concept. You know, there's one thing though that I hate about book binding, and that is that once you fold these over, it'll do that. Like, it won't be a flat edge. So, I don't know what to do. I know that you're meant to be able to cut them down, but I've tried that multiple times. It always goes to hell, so... Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hmm, to be honest, I just wanna do something really easy. Maybe I should make my signatures first. Is that what they're called? The folded pieces of paper signatures? I think I'll do that first. Let's grab my cutting board. Just had to try and find my cutting mat. Just has paint on it. That'll be fine. I have a ruler, a metal one. 
because uh, I used to try and cut paper with a plastic ruler and I cut the ruler. And box cutting knife. I need to uh, halve these, don't I? Because that's how you make a six, yes? Yes. Yes, you halve them. Okay. So I could, like, do all fancy mathematical measurements, but I'm just gonna fold it. Like, I'm sorry. I can't. I'll be trying, try and be exact with my folding, but... Yeah. Also, I know that everyone online uses a bone folder. I'm just gonna use my knife. I don't have a bone folder. I'm nowhere near that fancy. Okay. So now I've got like a weird raised. Can you see that? A weird raised fold on both sides. But it's fine. It's just a sketchbook. Sketchbooks, believe it or not, are not the be all end all. They do not need to be perfect. They just need to have paper that you can draw in. Says the girl who's literally making herself her own sketchbook because she doesn't like the $2 one that she got because it sucks up too much ink from her pen. Okay, so there. Alright, so how many days are in October? 31. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that there is a page, not a sheet, a page. Because I draw on both sides of the page. Like a fancy person. Um, we're going to make sure that there is a page for each Inktober drawing. Look at that, it's already looking like it's coming together. It's only taken me 13 minutes to make one. going to do is um okay how many let's figure out how many pages one a4 sheet can create so that's that one two three four five six seven eight so i need 31 so how many times does eight go into 31 huh. we're not going to be able to do that very well oh well. okay I might just have some extra pages. That's fine by me. I'm sure I can fill those as well in a month. Surely. I think I'm setting myself up for failure, to be perfectly honest with you. I am actually very scared of doing Inktober because it is a commitment. Um, I feel like in previous years I've tried to do something that is completely different and just like not within my realm of normality. Like, Last year, I think, I tried to do all animals, and I got so sick of that very quickly. Whereas, I think just doing a simple, small ink drawing every single day is a good idea. And having a dedicated sketchbook for that is a good idea, too. Because then you're a little more, uh, a little more inclined to work in it. Also, after I um, create this book, I kind of want to show you guys the supplies that I'm going to use for Inktober because I plan on using pretty minimal supplies. I don't know, I like sketchbooks that are small and have been completed very quickly. Um, they've just got this aesthetic to them of simplicity and minimalism. But at the same time, like being super overcrowded with sketches. Yeah, I like that. Right, how many have I done now? Four. I've got four of these things now. So I've used two pages, so I'm gonna need one, two, three more. 
and I just have to speed up the footage process thingy for you guys, because otherwise you're going to be here a while. So, over to the speed, speed footage. Okay, that only took me five minutes, believe it or not. Well, maybe six, I don't know. Okay, but we have our, um, what are these? I was about to call them seasons, but they're not seasons, are they? Mm, signatures? Yeah, that's right, they're signatures. Let's stack them inside each other and see what a mess we can create. Oh my gosh, look at the cutting job that I did on this one. Not good. The theme of my Inktober sketchbook is just going to be Ratchet. Okay, what I think I'm going to do is attempt to do it how the peoples do it online. Um, so for now, I think what I'm going to do is take my time, go a bit slowly, I'm just readjusting the camera so that you guys don't have to see my face, because I feel like I'm going to get a little up close and personal with this thing. I'm just going to go slow, take my time, and hope that it works out okay. And I am going to use a rubber band. See, I've already botched the bottom of this, so like... What else could go wrong? Here we go with another speed... speed thingy. See you on the other side. Feel like that could have worked. Time for the reveal. Ow, my hand! Ooh. I've been pressing down on this ruler for too long. How does Steve Lemon do it? Whoa. That's pretty adequate. Yep, I'm happy with that. That is pretty adequate. Are you guys seeing this? Probably not. No. <laughs> right, I'm gonna turn off the autofocus. We're gonna try and refocus it. Look at that. Look how snazzy. It's still kind of ratchet, but I don't care. I suppose it's time for me to um make the cover now. So let's do that. Look at all this wasted paper. Good grief.
Okay, ta-da! I made a sketchbook, and I think I'm going to keep the um, elastic on it for now to keep it together, because I know that that's a thing you can do. And that way, in case I, you know, stuff up any pages, I can switch them out. It's super easy, surely. Surely I can do something like that. Okay. Nom 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 nom. I'm a bit weird. Okay, so, I think I'm going to quickly show you guys uh, what I plan to use for Inktober. Okay, so we got some Tom Balfudinoske brush pens in soft and hard. I think, yep. Got the soft one and the hard one. That's what they call them. I'll probably use some polychromos to do some sketching with because I, I have the big set of them, so I, I made an impulsive buy. I made an impulsive buy like over a year ago on those pencils, so I like to try and make good use of them, even if it's just sketching. I'll be using these Tombell um, brush marker things, um, just like the greys and a black for filling in big black areas. Staedtler um, pastel highlighters. I'll probably also use normal highlighters. Um, and this Uniball gel pen. I don't know, for line work, I think. Um, and also like a, uh, what is it? A generic ballpoint pen for line art, because I like those. And I'll probably use my Jelly Roll and my Uniball Signo white gel pen. So, I reckon that's all I'm going to use. This is not as minimalistic as I would have liked, but I don't care. I'm pretty happy with what I'm going to use. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video at least a little bit. Um, yeah, this is just my Inktober prep slash DIY sketchbook vlog slash I don't know what I'm doing and I really, really hope that I can actually do Inktober this year, but we will see. At least now I've got a sketchbook dedicated to it. I'll see you guys during Inktober. Oh yeah, if you want to see my Inktobers, I plan to post daily um, on my Instagram. And I will leave my Instagram link down in the description bar. I'm pretty sure it's uh, Magenta Mayhem Art. Um, I'll leave all my social media in the description bar. I'm pretty sure I've got it in my own slate too. Just in case you want to follow me anywhere else. Because YouTube is the place that I post the least. So... Yeah, if you if you want to see more content from me, check out my social medias. Um pretty sure that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys. Wow. I'm so strong.